Hello, Georgie B here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp sets Painted Poppy and Peaceful Moments. Uh, for Peaceful Moments I'm just using the sentiment wishing you happiness on this special day. Oh, wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. And the Painted Poppies, I've just used this leaf and I'm going to stamp that poppy. I did use that one as well. For my card, I'm changing the colour. I have got a Brush and Bride card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eight, scored at four and one eight. Another piece of Brush and Bride at five and five eight by three and seven eight, and I've already embossed it with arrows and that's come from this embossing folder with no name it's a 6 by 6 one I actually got this at Peterborough so I know where I got this one a couple of years ago at the Peterborough craft fair but it has no name on it so it's just a generic one right, I've also got a piece of checkered paper. This one is from the in colours, the retiring in colours. So I thought I'd use it, and it is Rococo Rose in colour, and that will go across there. Um, I've also got one of these, which is out of the painted poppy die set. I've already cut it out because it won't go in my little sidekick I do have to stamp and cut out a leaf and another poppy because I have got the big leaf and the small leaf a uh, small poppy I swap the colours around and I've also got three leaves So we need another leaf and a small poppy and that means I've got the wrong pens out so let's just get some pens out so I don't need them ones poppies of coloured this one in Calypso Coral and this one in I thought it was um, no it's between Rococo Rose and Richard Russell Berry I used on that one and then the leaves are coloured in in dark seaside soft sea foam and a bit of granny apple green I've also got a scrap of white to stamp a flower and a poppy and I've also got some Calypso Coral scrap for the sentiment which I'm going to pop there. So let's get started on our stamping. I'll just pop that there. So over this I've got my leaf. I had my leaf and my poppy my sentiment so let's stamp a poppy like that and stamp a leaf like that We'll colour them in in a minute. I just want to stamp the sentiment and I'm going to cut that out using a wrong one using this die from Painted Poppies. And that will go there.
hopefully I have done it right so that will get stamped, cut out there so that's my stamping done so all I've got to do now is colour in the leaf in the poppy so what I've done is colour this in in seaside foam, soft seaside foam no, soft sea foam And then I went down the middle of the leaf with granny apple green light and just went down the stem, made it a little bit darker. I can't really tell up there. Right, now with the flower, oh I know what else I need for the middle. Right, I went, I'll try and remember how I did this, oh. so I've got rich raspberry and I went round the middle, just a thin line round there and then I went just one line round the inside edge of each petal and underneath the fold and I coloured in the fold. Um, how's this one? That's that one. Colour that fold in. Then I took dark Rococo Rose and did it again. So with this one I went round the whole of this back side of this petal. Like that, and then around the center. And then with the light Rococo rose, I colored in the whole thing, blending the colors in. go over the colours enough it will blend in quite easy. I think my Rococo Rose is drying out. lighter than that it is. I must have coloured the whole flower in. It's been a while since I made this card and I'm only filming it now because my order hasn't come. So what colour is this? 
light. I'm going to go over it with the light rich raspberry. Right, let's blend them in a bit. There we are. And then with this Mango Melody light, I just coloured in the middle, like that. And that's my flowers done. All we've got to do now is cut them out. So, put my scissors, we'll chop it up and place the dies on top. Hold them in place, same as the leaf. There's our second flower, and our last leaf. Don't need them no more. Right, now we've got to cut this out. Chop them off. nicely I'm going to have to get some more tape for my little sidekick here. There we are. Don't need them no more. And we don't need that no more. So that's just got all our bits for our card and we'll just put these dies away before we lose them or we, me and now we have to put the card together so we'll get this piece and we're going to glue this right across the strip and then I'll trim it off. I just didn't trim it off when... In fact, I didn't cut this bit. This was a bit I found in the packet 
with the rest so I must have used it already right get my big scissors and trim that off And we're going to stick this on top of the card. And place it on there. Right, this whirly circle, which has got a piece in it. Just look glues flat down there. I'm pleased this sets um, carrying over. Right now for the flowers. Right, the big flower goes on dimensionals. So I'm just going to put three on. But not near the edge. That one and um, oh, that's flat. So we're going to place this one in the middle, like that, and then we're going to glue one flat up here. And we're going to place one on the top, just there. So we need dimensionals just there. And a pop of glue. Alright, on leaves. I'm going to have one leaf. Put these two together. Like that. This leaf goes out there. And then this one comes out there. It's quite a quick card when you, you've got all your bits cut out. It doesn't take long to come together. She says, yet the first card took me forever to place out. And this just sits on a bit this swirly. Such straight. There we are. All colours I wouldn't have thought to put together. But it does look okay. This idea actually came from the new catalogue. They did something like that in the catalogue. I thought, oh, I like that. I'll copy that. Right, I've got some coloured, creamy coloured pearls here, so I'm going to use them. 
So this small one goes here. Then we'll do a medium one down here. And a larger one down here. Like that. And that is my card. Try and get this back in. These are great and craft craft pearls. So they must have been my friend Brenda's stuff. And I've got her craft room. Right, that's my card. Hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.